In today's news, we have a massive announcement from John Deaton, XRP lawyer, regarding Ripple's settlement deal with the SEC. Now, as we can see from John Deaton himself, he has stated the SEC is pissed and embarrassed and wants $770 million worth of flesh. This is in reference to when the SEC fined Ripple for $770 million for a settlement deal, which is outrageous and understandably so. Ripple wants to drastically reduce the $770 million by trying to exclude ODL transactions, reduce salaries, expenses, costs, etc. And funnily enough, in a very similar case, the SEC sought $23 million from LBRY. It took eight months of additional litigations before the judge ultimately issued a fine of $130,000. This is insane, from $23 million to $130,000. And as such, that is why there's a possibility that Ripper will be able to drastically reduce this penalty fee. And in continuation, that is why we can see from Jack the Rippler here, we got a breaking report stating, Pro XRP lawyer John Deaton say $20 million settlement is a 99% win for Ripple. This is very big news. So for some context, we can see here John Deaton tweeted out stating the people who have argued that the SEC got a 50-50 victory in the Ripple case are 100% wrong. It was more like 90 to 10 in Ripple's favor. If Ripple ends up paying $20 million or less, it's a 99.9% .9 legal victory. So with a settlement deal and another Ripple victory on the horizon, we are mere moments away from seeing Ripple being the only crypto asset with regulatory clarity in the United States, further increasing their partnerships and therefore potentially their price. XRP already have some amazing partnerships that are going to send them to the moon, which you can see here from Mr. Man XRP. He did his own due diligence and his own research into Project Nexus, a BIS initiative for cross-border payments. We can see on their official website, it states, more than 60 countries already have instant or fast payment systems that allow people to send money to each other within seconds. However, sending money abroad is often still slow and expensive. Connecting these domestic payment systems internationally could improve the speed, cost, and transparency of cross-border payments. This is very big news. The BIS, the Bank for International Settlements, is like the central bank for central banks. They are the big dogs in this space. But how does this all connect to XRP? In 2021, the Monetary Authority of Singapore connected to the PayNow service. And very recently, Ripple had acquired licenses for digital token services in Singapore. But wait, there's more. As we can see here again, RippleNet and Finastra connected to make Finastra's fusion total messaging a reality. And back in 2021, Tunes and Finastra joined forces to enter the Singaporean market. And in 2023, Tunes began to expand further into the Asian market. Ripple and Tunes are partners, Ripple and Finastra are partners, and Stella and Tunes are partners. So this therefore showcases Ripple's connection to the BIS and Ripple's partner's connections to the BIS. And once XRP gets its regulatory clarity, XRP is destined to soar further to the moon. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Until next time, God speed, good day and good night.